Welcome friends, my name is Marissa and I am the owner of Fully Integrated Training. I am here to bring you a nice basic intro yoga flow. This is just a great way to kick off some of your mobility practice, especially if you haven't been on your mat in a while. And you don't necessarily need a mat. You could also use a towel. Um, you can work on the carpet if you're comfortable on the floor. Do whatever suits you best. But go ahead and throw something on that you like to work out in. If you enjoy having a block for stability, go ahead and grab one of those or any other props that will make your practice a little bit more comfortable today. And let's get started. Today, my friends, we are getting started in child's pose. So big toes together, knees out nice and wide, locking those hands forward, melting through our heart center, pushing the hips back, and relaxing through the neck and the head. Nice big breaths into that belly, softening down, using our breath here to create some space. So on that inhale, really finding ourselves expanding through the rib cage, especially the backs of those lungs, and on our exhale, gently melting a little bit further into the mat underneath us. Let's stay here for a few more breaths. And then on an inhale, let's find our way up into a tabletop position. So hands stack under shoulders, knees under those hips, toes directly back from the knees. On an inhale, dropping the belly, the chest, and letting the chin rise gently. Exhale, starting the movement from our hips, rounding up one vertebrae at a time, letting the head be the last thing to fall. Starting to work with your breath here. Inhaling and exhaling. And then on our next inhale, finding a nice flat back, sweeping that right arm all the way up to the sky. Exhale, curling the arm forward towards the top right edge of your mat and sinking those hips down and back once again. Inhale, let's slowly peel our way back up as you're ready, sweeping that right arm up to the sky, nice big reach. Exhale, fingertips return to the mat. Taking this to the other side, so left arm reaches up and open, just as far as you can comfortably. Exhale, we come back through center with the hips, left hand goes to the top edge of that mat as we press the hips down and back. So again, focusing our stretches on those shoulder blades for this first little moment, a little bit of mobility through our low back. Inhale, peeling our way back, arm up, sweeping that arm up to the sky. And exhale, fingertips down to the mat. In your own time, sending the toes off to the side or crossing them in the back to come onto our bodies. You can sit any way that's super comfortable for you here, whether that's a cross-leg position or maybe a bodhikonasana or bound angle with the soles of the feet together. Shoulders again stacked over the hips, sitting nice and tall. Inhale, sweeping those arms up and Exhale, let's just meet at heart center for a couple big breaths. So chest pulls through towards the thumbs, shoulders relax down. You can always let that chin fall just gently, closing your eyes. Two big breaths in and out. Noticing exactly where your body is at and how it is feeling today. On an inhale, we sweep both arms up and open. Nice, big reach, anchoring down through the hips. Exhale, right fingertips come down to the mat. Left arm sweeps across. You can see really gentle. I'm not hinging into that side body or into the hips. Really just extending up through the left hand to create that space. Beautiful, let's let those left fingertips fall down. Right arm will sweep up 
towards the sky, maybe just a little bit of that twist. Nice big belly breaths. And then returning that right hand back down. Let's find a big sweep with both arms reaching proud. Once again, exhale, this time we hinge over those legs, starting from the hips, letting everything else melt down. If your fingertips are not comfortable on the mat, you can always hold on to your knees. One thing I encourage though is to keep the shoulders away from the ears so we're not rounding forward. Good, one more big breath in. Exhale, sink just a touch deeper. And then inhale, walking those fingertips back on up. Go ahead and switch out which foot is on top or in front if you are sitting in a cross-leg position. If you're not, go ahead and just stay right where you are at. Taking that moment to readjust. Inhale, let's sweep the arms up and open. On an exhale, opening out like a T to the right. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, a T to the left. One more each side. Let's use that breath. Inhaling back through center. Exhale, hands come to your heart. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Good. Sweeping all the way up. Find that reach. Anchor down through the hips. Exhale, we once again fold it forward. Our practice is nice and easy today, nice and slow. No strain, no pressure. Just a nice little way to warm up each and every part of our bodies. Walking those fingertips back on up as you're ready to do so. Let's extend that right leg out nice and long, tucking the left toes in, sitting up nice and tall here, flexing right toes to nose, taking the right hand onto the shin, reaching left arm up and open and once again maybe just a gentle side body stretch you can also bring that right hand to the outside of the left inhale both arms sweep all the way up turning towards our foot and then exhale to hinge and fold over still actively flexing the right toes if you can comfortably reach your foot here go for it but it is not necessary Especially if you have that nice flexed foot, you're getting a little bit of a stretch through the opposite side on the low back. Maybe we anchor the back of that right thigh down into the mat just a touch more. Inhale, let's go ahead and slowly walk on up, taking it to the other side. So left toes extend out, right toes come in, flexing toes to nose. This time left hand onto that shin or onto the mat, right arm reaches up. And you always have that option to have the gentle lean. Both sides are going to feel a little bit different, so find what feels most comfortable for you. Gaze can tilt up, it can stay in neutral, or it can look down. Wherever feels best on your neck. Inhale, both arms reach all the way up. Twisting the torso towards our left foot, we exhale, folding over. Once again, softening down. We'll have one side that feels a little tighter. If this is that side, just breathe through it. Again, always listening to our bodies first. If something I'm suggesting doesn't feel great, you do not have to go there. On an inhale, let's slowly peel our way up. Extending both legs out nice and long in front, give the legs a little wiggle, a little shake. And then we'll bring our hands back behind our hips. Soles of the feet coming onto the mat or the ground in front of us. And we'll just gently windshield wiper those knees side to side. And again, this practice isn't meant to make you sweat this morning. It's just meant to find a little extra body engagement. Just noticing areas of the hips and shoulders that might be a little bit tender today. Good, let's come back through center. One more pose, soles of the feet together, knees up nice and wide, that Balakanasana. 
hands, hold on to the front of those shins. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, hinging forward. Again, letting that chin gently draw to chest. If it feels comfortable to add a little bit of pressure on those inner thighs, you're more than welcome. Or maybe today you start to walk the fingertips forward, going more into that low back and focusing less on the hips. Neither is wrong. Choose what suits you best. Let's all take one more big breath in. Exhale, release. And inhale, we'll slowly start to walk our way up and out. Sitting any way that is comfortable for you. Thank you so much for joining me for this short and sweet practice. Just a little way to wake us up. I'm filming this on a Sunday morning. I just rolled out of bed. I haven't even had my coffee yet. So I hope that it brightened your day as much as it brightened mine. Thanks, Kurt.